Hallelujah. Sarap po ang sarap po pilihan ng Panginoon. Ha? Hi, Burgess. I don't want to give the burden to the point to John translating my words into English so I'll try my very best. Amen, brother. And that is if you don't understand if Burgess did not understand me, you will explain it to Burgess and Burgess is understanding you explain it to Burgess. Amen. We are in agreement. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can you all stand up, please? Let's let's read all together. One, two, three. Jesus is the blind man that we sight up. They came to the sight up, and some people brought a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. When he had spit on the man's eyes and put his hands on him, Jesus asked, Do you see anything? He looked up and said, I see people. They look like trees walking around. Once more, Jesus put his hands on the man's eyes. Then his eyes were opened. His sight was restored and he saw Father, we thank you for your word. Help us see clearly now. Father, we thank you for your instruction. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's all see the talk. I knew a woman who is already, I think, 67 or 68, a blind woman. She was blind a long time ago. She was blinded by, if I'm not mistaken, the diabetes. She was my teacher before in elementary and now although she is blind she um uh, see <laughs> more lord <laughs> she managed to establish a school a montessori from kinder up to grade uh fifth year so even though she is blind she is leading a school with more than two thousand students praise the lord for that and you know why? Uh, you know, even though she is blinded by the sickness or by her sickness, she used to get into it. I mean, they will translate. You know, I don't want to tell you. The bulag, sa tagal mo nang naging bulag, nasasanay ka. You will be, you, you will be used of being blind. You will be used to being blind. You can at the at first you need to adjust. It's tough, but you need to adjust because if you were blind, all of your environment is dark. You cannot see any light. But you are used to being blind that you don't even need a light to do something. I saw her cooking. I saw her washing the dishes. I saw her teaching. Though he cannot write on the board, but she can teach. And she teach well. Just like us, if we are blind, and see, he look up and up. Uh, sorry. Spiritual blindness is different from being blind physically. Amen? Amen. See, do you have eyes, Jesus is speaking, do you have eyes but fail to see? But ears but fail to hear? And you don't, and don't you remember? Diba? Meron kayong mga mata, pero hindi kayo nakakakita. Meron kayong mga, mga tenga, pero hindi kayo nakakarinig. I apologize, brothers. Meron, hindi kayo nakakarinig. Why? Because you are, you are living in blindness for so long that you thought being blind is normal. You thought that having a rebellious kid is normal. No, it's not. You thought that being broke is normal. No, it's not. You thought that having a broken relationship is normal. No, it's not. And most of us thought that being in a lower level of life is normal because we cannot do anything about it. Brothers and sisters, it is 
it's not normal for you to experience those things. Amen. 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 Parang ayaw nyo. Amen. What am I trying to say? We are so blinded by this world and so we have adjusted ourselves the way of living na kapag adjust na tayo at natanggap na natin sa sarili natin na normal lang yun. Di ba? Natanggap na natin ang sitwasyon natin sa buhay ay normal lang na laging may utang. Uh, sanay na ako nang iniiwan, ganun talaga. O oh, di ba? Sanay na ako nang hindi ako nagpupromote yung katabi ko. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, it's not normal. You have to see in spiritual aspects of life. Hindi normal sa ating mga anak ng Diyos na ayaw at tanggal. Amen? Amen? Yes, we are in a battle. I believe so. But I also believe that we have already won the battle. Amen. Jesus Christ has already won the battle. Amen. We adjusted of living in blindness. Nakakit tayo. Ano mo yun? We thought that, ano yung mga bulag na nakakapagmasahe? Di ba? Parang kapag ganang buhay siya, nakapartida na, bulag pa. Ah, di ba? Nakakapamilya, parang partida na, bulag pa. Di ba? But there are some things that the blind man was... They came to Bethsaida and some people brought a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. Praise God that this man who is blind has a friend who is willing to bring him to Jesus. Who has a friend that is willing to bring him to Jesus. All of us here is an answered prayer. We have friends that We have friends that prayed for us. We have friends that invited us. We have friends that is willing to sacrifice their time, their effort for us to know or to know Jesus. Amen. Amen. This blind man is very blessed. Amen. 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 If you have a friend that is being blinded by this world, I suggest don't bring them to church. Bring them to Jesus. Hmm. Don't just bring them to Jesus. After that, bring them to church. Introduce them to Jesus first. You yourself can do it in your office, in the metro, in the bus, in your car, in parking lot. You can introduce Jesus to them. These people are being blinded by this world. And they need light. And they only need Jesus. They don't need the church. Amen. 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 They don't need the church. They need Jesus. I'm not saying don't come on Friday. Please do and bring your friends with you. <laughs> bring your enemies with you. Bring your bosses, bring your colleagues with you. What am I trying to say is that they need to know or they need to meet Jesus first before entering the church. Because Jesus himself is the head of the church. Amen. 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 Then they came to the church and some people brought a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. Sino na dito ang nakaranas? Who among you, brothers and sisters, have experienced the touch of Jesus? Amen. Aksan nyo naman. Amen. Whoever experienced being touched by Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus' touch changes everything. Correct? Amen. When you're being touched by Jesus, it changes everything. Amen. I like it. As if you are blind, then now I can see. Yes. <laughs> because of Jesus' touch. Jesus touched him. Jesus showed concern to me. Blind man. He took the blind man by the hand. This is, see, Jesus took the blind man by the hand. If you are blind, and I will take you by hand, what you need to do is just trust me and follow me. 
trust and follow, trust and follow Jesus that he, or that he is going to lead you in a better place. Amen. 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 He took the blind man by the hand. Imagine, you were blind and Jesus touches you. Ayaw kong sabi na pang boy bulat na liyan. Blind man, come. Diba? If you are being led by Jesus, definitely the one leading you is not blind at all. Amen. What scares me is that a blind man again is being led by another blind man. Both of them will fall. So if you thought or if you feel that you are still blind, brother and sisters, don't lead someone who is blind also. But I believe and I declare, wala nang bulag dito. Amen. Amen? Lahat tayo nakakakita ng malinaw, ano ba? If your friend is blind and if your friend is suffering from something and if your friend is or if someone is in a situation that they need you act as if you are not or act na hindi ka bulag. Give them instruction, give them guidelines, give them give them advices from the word of God. And if you are be if you are leading something, make sure that you but make sure that it is not your emotions. Yeah. Hmm? Make sure na hindi yung emotion mo ang nagpapayo sa kanya. And if you are leading some, someone, you are leading him or her to Jesus, not you leading your emotion and leading yourself to him or to him. Amen. Sure. Amen. Because that will not give you a restoration. Both of you will fall. Amen. Lead somebody to Jesus using his word, not your emotion. Amen. Make him believe or make her make her make her believe that Jesus is alive and Jesus is there to help him or her. Not make her or him believe that you are there to help him or her. You cannot help them. You can just be there for them. But it is only Jesus who can change them. It is only Jesus who can change the situation, brothers and sisters. Do not let your emotions lead you. Amen. Let the word of God lead you. He, he took the blind man by the hand. A blind man needs guidance. They need trust. They need to trust us. For example, wala si Ice na bang ano ba sa may sakit na sa hindi ano? If Sister Sally is blind and I gave her something. Uh, Sister Sally, this is a, a thousand dirhams. Keep it. But it's not. She will believe that it is a thousand dirhams because she cannot, she, will not, she cannot see it. Huh? We need to gain their trust. At the same time, we need to tell them the truth. Amen. Do not just tell them things to make them feel comfortable. Tell them the truth. Amen. Huwag nalagyan ng palaman. Ayos. Napalakas tuloy. Huwag nalagyan. Huwag mo pagandahin yung sasabihin niya just because you want them to feel comfortable with you. Tell them the truth. Yes, truth hurts. Amen. But Jesus heals. Amen. Amen. I cannot tell Brother Burgess that Brother Burgess I prayed already and sooner or later the one that you were dreaming of or the one that you've been praying for will be there. Because he is blind, he will be on me. But I'm just lying. I am trying to tell something to Brother Burgess that will make him comfortable with it. Ah, no, it's not right. Make him believe that Jesus can change everything. Amen. Do not make him believe that it is just okay to feel this way. Amen? Amen. He led him outside the village. Hmm. That interests me. Jesus heals before a, a paralyzed man by just saying more. By just commanding, pick up your mat and walk. There's, 
Then there is even an instance that the, the, the servant of the centurion, the centurion told him, no need to come to my place. Just say the word and he will be healed. But in these instances, Jesus, Jesus took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. Walking, if you were in the middle of the village, walking outside, going outside the village, is an effort. Uh, I want to talk to you. I want to heal you, Hazel, but I don't want it in crap. Doon tayo sa, sa Lahudin, station. Imagine, they need to go out of the village. Jesus need to walk. Jesus need to go out of the village. Just to what? Just to heal that blind man. Do you think it's normal? No. What do you think is the reason why Jesus Christ led that blind man inside the village? Kasi kung ako, look, dito na lang. Imagine, bulag na, inakay mo ko palabas. Diba? Because Jesus knew that he or that man will not be able to be healed if he is still in that village. Same as if you were still in the same crowd that made that telling you blindness about this world, that telling you lies about what's happening, brothers and sisters, you will not experience breakthroughs in life. Amen. Jesus' ways is different from our ways. He is, he is leading you outside of your village because He knew you will not grow in that village. Amen. There are things that you need to left behind in that village because Jesus' plan is only for you and not for your friends. Not for your so-called <coughs> friends. Jesus' plan for me is different from Sister Joanna. So I cannot just hold on to our relationship as a friend, as a partner in ministry, because I want her to be with me. Jesus has different plan for each and every one of us. So let him outside the village. If you are still in a group where people are talking about blindness, where talking where, where people is giving you advices wordly. Where people is just gossiping. Where people is where where, where if you are still in a, in a crowd where you are trying to blend in, brothers and sisters were different from them. They were saying, "Hindi para para sa naman na." No, we're not. We, I have a relationship with my God. Amen. You know my God, but you don't have a relationship with Him. We have. We're different from them. And I, uh, I don't know if it's safe to say, but I want to say we're better than them. We are better than them in a sense that we can understand what God wants us to do. Amen. That doesn't mean that they are lesser than us, but we are better than them. We, are, we should be better than them. Amen. If Jesus Christ is leading you outside the village, all you have to do is trust him brothers and sisters all of us here are, are 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 hearing the word of god sometimes five times a week six times every day we are we are, we are communing with god we, we are talking with him the question is are we trusting the word that he is saying to us Amen. or he is telling Amen. us Amen. trust his word Amen. You have already proclaimed that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Amen. Trust His word. Amen. He is leading you outside that village. You don't have, or you, just, you don't just need to trust your friend. Trust the word of Jesus. Amen. What sad is, you know, alam niyo may you know what's difficult in life? <laughs> I, I, I am trying my, my best. Yeah, if I will not be able to speak English, the one that I bring is already finished. <laughs> More is coming. Amen. 
the way I did it. You know what's difficult? Or you know what's what's uh, hurting us? His brothers and sisters is coming to us. I am not saying you're not welcome. To, we are not welcome to talk. Or you are not allowed to come to us for advices. And you want to question us, it's fine. But go directly to us. Yeah. You want to question me, come directly to me. Yeah. Are we in agreement? Yeah. So if you are trusting the word of God, that's far different from what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> Brothers and sisters, What is making us sad is that there are people who is coming to us asking for an advice, asking what they have or what they need to do. And if you are telling them that this is the right thing to do as per the word of God, they are challenging you. Hindi ba? No, it's not. Hmm. The thing is, you don't trust us. Trust the word of God. If you felt, or if you, if you thought that, if you were, if you feel that we are lying, check the Bible. Mm -hmm. Then question us. What did the word say? Like this. But if we are telling you the good things, and if you, if we are telling you what is written in the Bible, trust the word of God. If you cannot trust us. Because we are also trusting only the word of God. Amen. Amen. Us, as, as a citizen of the kingdom of God, should only rely on the constitution of the kingdom. Amen. 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 Diba? Kung na tayo magtanong ng tama ba o mali, is it written? Yes, it's right. Amen. If it is written, it's there. It's the law of God. It's the law of our king. Amen. It's the law of our sustainer, so we should follow it. Yes, it may be painful. Amen. Yes, you need to leave. You need to drop a friend on the way. You need to drop something on the way. You need to, to die on yourself. On the way, you need to sacrifice something. You need to, you need to change. Amen. That is why Jesus Christ don't want much crowd to follow him. Why? Because most of the people who's following Jesus that time only wants to eat, but they don't want to change. Here we are learning the word of God. We don't just want to eat. We want to change our Amen. lives. Because Jesus Christ is the one changing our lives. Amen? Amen. Ooh, praise the Lord. When he had spit on the man's eye, have you ever tried spitting to someone? From where I came from, if you speak to me, what are you to do? Oh, fight, but just don't try. Sino na po na duraan dito? Huwag na tayo tunga sa kamay, di ba? Kasi medyo gross. But if someone speak on you, it's a sign of disrespect. It means I don't like you. It means you're nothing to me. So I can spit on you. It's a sign of, of hatred. Imagine Jesus Christ spitting on someone. <laughs> you know the witch doctor in the Philippines? They used to spit. Hmm. The witch doctor, they, they call it the faith healer. The, the faith healer, they go to write something on this small piece of paper. <laughs> They will write something, yeah, I just, they used to put something on that. Why, I was blinded before what could they do? The whole family was blinded, so what do you do? Know? Praise the Lord. I, I don't know if they got their concept from this verse, actually, but if someone speak on us, it's a big, no, it's a disrespect, it's a big insult. But come to think of it, Jesus spit the eye of that blind man. Revelation 3, 15, verse 16. I know your deeds, that you are neither cold or hot. I wish you were either one of the other. So, because you are lukewarm, neither hot 
or cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. Amen. Iluluwa ka ng Panginoon. God is going to spit you out of His mouth if you are and if you are either cold or hot. So make a decision, brothers and sisters. Are you with God or are you are you against Him or for Him? For Him. So you were for God. I mean, di ba? Pag ka sa Panginoon, ito doon mo na. Hindi pwedeng you were going to surrender one one aspect of your life and you don't want to to surrender your whole life. I mean, you want to you want to surrender your family but not your son or your, not, not your daughter or not even yourself. You are tithing. Hmm? You are tithing, but still, you are gambling. So which one? You are already in the kingdom of light, then you still want to step on the kingdom of darkness. Choose. Lord, don't want you in the middle. So choose. God is giving us a choice. Are you, are you with me or you are against me? Walang gitna, walang tabla. It's either head or pain, not in the middle. So it's either joy or hatred, forgiveness or hate. It's because in God, in our kingdom, it's just joy and joy, Amen. peace and peace, Amen. prosperity and prosperity. So if you were claiming that you were the son and the daughter of God, we are all prosperous. Amen. So ang kanina dapat nakikita sa pamumuhay. Amen. Nakikita ba? Amen. Is it obvious Amen. that we are rich? Amen. Is it obvious that we are happy? Amen. Is it obvious that we are for God? Amen. Is it obvious that we are experiencing joy in our lives? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I am about Our God, hey, if you were just standing in the middle, He's going to spit you out of His mouth. So He spit on the man's eye because Jesus Christ hate that that man is being blind. He spit directly to the eye because Jesus hate the blindness but not the man. He hate your sin, but not oh, the sin. Yeah. He spit on the man's eye. He directly he spit to the eye because he hate that man being blind. Amen. He wants that man to see clearly. Amen. Amen. God don't want you to be blind. But on the man's eye. He hates the sin, but he loves the sin. Amen? Ang maganda nito, the good thing is, after spitting, God touches you. Put his hand on him. After God telling you that I hate your sin, he is touching you, telling you, I love you. Put his hand on him because Jesus Christ, after telling you that this is what I want for you, I hate the fact that you are sinning, still I'm going to touch you because I want to heal you. Amen. 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 Jesus asked, Do you see anything? Imagine a God who can even bring the dead to life after touching you, asking you, do you see anything? And ask, and this blind man says, he looked up and said, I see people. I see people. They look like trees walking around. If you are seeing trees walking around, it's not normal. <laughs> I can't imagine seeing a dance passing on the pedestrian lane. <laughs> 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 
They look like trees. And you man don't look like trees also. So this is not natural. He look up, the blind man look up. And I see people like trees walking. <laughs> It is not natural to see a tree <laughs> that looks like us. <laughs> it cannot be Belgian. <laughs> it can be. Right? It can be. I see people that look like trees growing up. But if you are used to it, you thought that it's normal. What I am concerned is that most of the unnatural things, since it is always happening on us, we thought it's natural. Being broke is nagiging natural na lang sa atin. We are accepting the, 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 the fact that we are broke. Ano yung pagbabayad, pagkasweldo mo, pagbabayad mo? Sanay na ako dyan, alam ko na walang matitira. <laughs> <laughs> when, when salary day will come, let me translate. When salary day will come, and you have received your salary, most of us is rejoicing, but the two of you, sad to say, is paying or spending all your money paying your debt. It is not normal, but since it is happening on your lives for 10 years, you thought it's normal. I'm not declaring and canceling the effect, I'm just making the example. See, being broke, you think, is normal for us. We are getting used to the things that is unnatural. We, we are used that people is hating us. It's unnatural because we are lovable, amen? amen. But nobody wants to hate us because we're going to love them even though they hate us. But come to think of it, brothers and sisters, that having a rebellious kid is unnatural to us. They are meant to respect us. Amen. Being broke is unnatural to us. Sanay na sanay tayo dyan, pero masanay tayo ng marami tayong pera. Amen. Amen? Having a broken relationship is not natural. It's unnatural for us. But since you were posting on your Facebook camp, so we, it's so nice. <laughs> God has given us. Amen. Amen? Don't be used to the unnatural things because we are victorious and you are better and you are getting used to be a I'm saying we need 
a second touch from Jesus. If you still feel that you are blinded of this word, you need again another touch from Jesus. If you think that that being hated by someone is natural, you need again to have a touch from Jesus. If you thought that being a loser is natural, you need a second touch from Jesus. If you think that the battle cannot be won, you need again another touch from Jesus. And if you think again that you are in a battle which you are not, you need again to touch a second touch from Jesus. The battle has already been won. The Lord is saying, the battle has already been won. Tapos na yan. All you have to do is believe it. Amen. Repent. That the battle has already been won. Amen. This is His church. You are His body. He Amen. is the head. Amen. He don't want you to be all blinded by this word. Then His eyes were opened. His sight was restored. If your sight is being restored, it only means that you can see before. You were once in the kingdom of light, but we choose to stay in darkness. Not us, the other group in the other room. To stay in darkness, although they are not blind. Restore again. Renew, rebuild, repair. So it only means that we can see clearly before. The thing is, we are just blinded of the prince of this world. So when Jesus Christ speaks on our eyes, He is speaking on our sins. He is telling us that I hate what you were doing. I hate the condition that you are in. I hate the fact that you are always thinking that there is something missing in your life. But the truth is, I am here. Touching your lives, touching you. So if you are going to lead someone, lead them to Jesus. Lead them with His word, not by your emotions. Make sure that you are leading him to Jesus, not leading them to you. Because both of you will fail. And he saw everything clearly. Are you seeing clearly now, brothers? Because if you are still blinded, you're going to pray that Jesus needs to touch you. It's a good thing that after the second touch, he saw everything clearly. Praise the Lord. Palapakan natin na pangalala. Jesus sent him home. Jesus is not done yet. Saying, don't even go into the village. Don't even go back to where I think. Amen. Don't go back in the kingdom of darkness. Don't go back to the things that I thought that I have already spit on. Don't go back to the things that you know will cost you or will cost your career or will cost something in you. Do not go back to the things that will cost you pain. Do not go back to the things that can cost you being broke. Amen. Do not go back to the things that, I don't know, what are the things that you hate? Na ayaw niyo mangyari sa buhay niyo. Don't go back there. We all knew that we that if we are doing something which is not aligned to the word of God or to His will, we are putting ourselves in danger. Yeah. Not only us, but also our family and the people around us. Amen. Then all of a sudden, I hate to say this, but if you are making sins, and if you were sinning and your friends are not, you thought that your friends hate you. Where the truth is, the conflict started between you and the Lord, not you and your friend. 
because the Lord is speaking on what you are doing. And these friends, our friends, is or our brothers and sisters is just trying to hold your hand and to introduce you again to Jesus for a second time. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, we are a family here. We don't hate you. I don't hate you. I don't care if you hate me, but I love you. Amen. I will not. I will not tell someone that I, I hate brother Dan. But my whisper to sister Shani. <laughs> no, no, brothers and sister. What am I trying to say? If we are able to see clearly now, we are seeing from God's vantage point, not from our point. If I can only see these people because I am focusing on what I can see, but if I am standing of what God wants me to see, I can see everything. Amen. 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 God wants you to see clearly now. Amen. Use the vision that God gave you. Amen. Stand on His bandage, bandage point. Don't try to judge things or don't try to analyze things on your own because you cannot and you will fail. Amen. Your conclusion will not be accurate. Amen. Look at the way God wants to see you. Look at the way God sees things. Not the way you see things. If you need a second touch from Jesus, Ask for a second touch. God, I cannot see clearly now because I am in doubt. You will not be able to see clearly if you are in doubt, if you were in pain, if you were in hatred. If, if, if you, I cannot see, I cannot love you if there is hate in my heart. Amen. I cannot see the good things that is in you if I am still blinded by the things that you have done to me. Jesus already speaks on the things that he hates. It is clear already. He already touches the eyes. So from that point, brothers and sisters, practice to see clearly things. Or practice the way God wants you to see the things that he has made for you. Amen? Amen. Jesus sent him, saying, don't even go to the village. Don't come back. Don't go back sinning. Why? Because if you go back to sinning at the point of you are receiving a lot of blessings from God. Money, career, relationship, health, family, you are receiving a lot. Try not to sin. Don't sin actually. Why? It is not, it is not, uh, I'm saying this not because you are going to lose what God has already given you because it is already yours. What God has given, it is given already. What am I trying to say is that if you are sinning while receiving all these blessings, you will not be able to see these things as blessings because you are going to use it the way that you want it to be used, not the way that God wants you to use it. Continue asking for the second touch if you were still.